who has not heard, or some variation of, this particular quote? For the love of money is the root of all evil, which, while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Well, at least the first part. Consider how many successful people throughout history have attempted to translate wealth into a position of power to impress their will on others because of the false belief that financial success equals spiritual success. The supposed entitlement that wealth conveys, unfortunately, for many builds a barrier to enlightenment that often becomes insurmountable. To be clear, money is not the problem, it's the love of it. If our definition of success is based solely on possessions and wealth, we will have gained the world, but lost ourselves. Remember, he who dies with the most toys still dies. And as much as we wish to, we can't take it with us. Now, many have tried and all have failed. We end up finding them, then we dig them up and parade them and their stuff around for everyone to see. Uh, kind of creepy if you really stop and think about it, this grave robbing. Clearly, it didn't work out so well for them, now did it? Additionally, we all know or know of a family torn apart over an inheritance, money trumping love and family. Living on the spiritual basis, we learn to use money as the tool it truly is, to live well, enjoy life, and praise God through our actions, demonstrating the path in every arena. God wants all his children to be happy, joyous, and free, and if we have been blessed with substantial resources, we seek ways to help others, preferably anonymously. For in this way, we steer clear of the trap of love of money and avoid piercing ourselves through with many sorrows. My name is Vincent Lee Jones. You can find my videos on YouTube and Facebook at Vincent Lee Jones. My writings on Blogger, title of the page, Living in Spirit, and videos as well on Facebook at The James Club. Have a blessed day.